Hey all Russ here at TV. Welcome. Welcome back to the van cave. Yay. Got the laptop fired up here. We'll read a couple comments. But first, let me show you something here. There it is. That's what I'm talking about, the strips. I can't go clear to the end because of the curve. That's okay. The plywood. Oak plywood will just go straight out to the edge. Now I'll figure out like a trim piece here. And then also I will build a frame for the fan. Yay. Anyway, that's how it's going to look. I'm marking where I can put screws because there's so many holes. Holes like these. But just kind of like marking studs when you're building. Anyway, that's the plan for today. I'm going to get all these run and hopefully get this frame built for the fans. Then we can start cutting holes. Anyway, that's the plan. Okay, let's go read some comments. Okay, Bob Larson, consider putting your batteries in bed ahead of the rear axle. Yes. The batteries will be over the rear axle. Thank you. Lance, good morning. Good morning, Lance. David, it's going to look great. What's going between the wall and the driver's seat and bed? Good question. Let's go look. He is talking about this area right here. Because the bed will come to here. There's the driver's seat kitchen's over here what's going to go here I don't know <laughs> for now just a chair probably like a recliner chair eventually that would be a little couch area but great question all right let's go back and check out another one okay mile high kit it'd be interesting to see for me to drive over a scale before and after yeah I'm not adding a bunch of weight there's not a lot of weight at all. You know what's heavy is this stuff. A box of this stuff is like 70 pounds. <laughs> Ken says, I put the toilet by the back door as far away from the kitchen as I could. Yeah, I'm going to try. That's to be determined yet. Once I get the cabinets built, then yes. Bond says, how about flexible conduit ran front to back? You can't. It's impossible. It's impossible to run conduit just the way all the metal walls are. I mean, uh, time you drill all those holes, you're gaining nothing. That little tubing thing I did work and then just use flexible wire. Mike asks, nice layout, but where does a jacuzzi go? Well, I'm thinking right next to the wet bar. <laughs> Funny. Here's a question, hand, hand water pump or electric? It's going to have a 12 volt water system, pressurized. Okay, let's go to the other video. Questions. Fantastic fan brackets. These guys right here. You know, I was really skeptical of these things, but I'm really glad now I got them. They're notched out, it centers the fan exactly. I mean, what a blessing. It's worth the money. Get, get those, uh, I call them brackets. They're inserts, whatever you wanna call them. I got them off eBay too. I will put a link down in the description for those. Actually, I will create a link for quite a bit of this in future videos parts and gadgets and whatnot. KJ, think Russ needs a helper to get through this modification quick so he can get back and do his travel videos. I agree. <laughs> I'm getting a little old for this stuff. Ken says, like my dad says, measure twice, cut once. Thank you. 
Marie asked, do you have any idea how much foam to spray in the crevices or just a guess? Uh, you just spray it till you see it oozing out a little bit. I had to go back and hit a couple holes uh, a couple times. So anyway, there's a few questions answered. Keep putting the comments in here. I'll keep posting videos about the van build. Alrighty, well, let me get going on these uh, wood slats and we'll make it work. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty, look at that. They're all in. All seven. So, next step. I'll need to figure out a frame. I got the table saw here so I can rip up wood and all that. I can really custom fit that stuff. So I'm going to put a little thought into that and I'll be back. Alrighty, I have this, uh, it's 2 by 3 I got 2 by 4 2 by 2 here, but this is 2 by 3 Check it out. Fits good. I can make that work. Once I get the hole cut, then I can actually build the frame out. But look at that. That's going to fit perfect. And then the fan will screw down from the top. I'll seal it all in. Plus, I want to prime paint any wood that's in the ceiling. I'm going to try to not use any bare wood that's up near the metal. So, I want to put a little primer on that too. So, I'll make my cuts, paint them, let them dry, then we'll think about cutting that hole. Alrighty. Anyway, doesn't that look good? This is this sample piece. I got to cut and fit it a little bit closer, but cool. I'm happy. Alrighty. Okay, I'm going to let them dry. Before I get cutting, one thing I noticed up here I can do, pretty cool, I just added this piece here, but this headliner, I don't know if you can see in there or not, I think what I'll do is something like this, box it in, I'm going to have to rip it because I want it to be I'll have to custom fit that. I'm going to make a curved cut in this board. So it lines up with this. You know, give me a place to attach the roof panel. So I'll have to get a little creative on this piece. Anyway, I'm going to cut one from there to there with a curve. But not today. <laughs> I got plenty to do today. But pretty quick. That way I can get the roof panel on. Then the roof panel will fasten to the bottom of this board and it'll hide the edge of that, the headliner. I'll go ahead and finish getting that uh, soundproofing up underneath that headliner. Okay, be back. Alrighty, here we go. Time to cut the roof. <laughs> what I'm going to do first, determine center, drill a small hole. I'll go up 
center one of the brackets here, draw it out, and then uh, go from there. So let's get busy. Seven there, seven there, seven, and seven. There's the hole. That's what we got to cut. Okay, I got to run some tape so I don't scratch up the paint. And then we'll get cutting. I put this rug here to help protect it so I don't scuff up the paint while I'm doing this. All right, tape time. Okay, you can see I'm going to cut on the outside of that line. Give me a little wiggle room. Because they recommend, I think it's 14 and a quarter. So that's about an eighth inch on both sides all the way around. Also, I put tape on the bottom of the saw. That's an old trick I seen a long time ago when you're on metal. Keep that saw from scuffing. So, alrighty, I'm going to drill a couple tiny holes, make sure it all lines up, and then we're going to cut it. There it is. Isn't that something? Wow. Intense. <laughs> nah. Alrighty. Okay. Just sitting there. There it is. Now I'll make the frame for it. Put it all down. Yay. Plenty of room. Okay. To be continued. Well, here, I'll show you up top. See, I really like those uh, inserts there. Look how it sits up. Nice. Okay, I'll button this one up and then uh, we'll cut the back one.
Yay! <laughs> yay, yay, yay! There it is. Wow. Did it. I'm gonna give a coat of that uh, self-leveling caulking all the way around this thing. I'll let this first stuff cure up first. Oh, glad that one's over. Okay, on to the next. All righty. Got the back one all lined out, marked. Just gotta tape it and drill it. There's the front one. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get this knocked out. All righty, there we go. Yay. There's the back one. And the front one. I gotta caulk it and all that, but there's the wiring. I notched this wood back here so wires will go through and come out this side. But I'm tired. That's a lot of work putting two of those in here so what a good day got the slats got the vents cut framed wiring's pretty much laid out what's next I don't know <laughs> well, I guess we'll start some insulation but not today alrighty okay well the journey continues here the build continues two you want to see up top real quick? Okay, hang on. There they are. I gotta pull that this stuff off. Once that base coat of the caulking dries, I'm gonna put that uh, self-leveling all the way around here, so it'll be totally sealed, both of them. I'll let this cure overnight, call it good. Okay, from the van cave, talk soon.